My name is Lynn Ward. And I'm Lynn's husband, David Ward. Ruth came to the dance school at the age of three, a bit like her mummy, um, and she just danced at home and I thought she needs to go to Miss Morrison's. And we've got some friends that are were older than Ruth, but are friends of ours that's daughter danced here then. So we came to Miss Morrison's. Miss Morrison did remember us. Yes, very much so. Yes. Yeah, we even yeah. bumped into it down Goose Fair one year, didn't we? Mm. And Miss Morrison remembered Lynn straight away. Yes, yeah. And yeah. that must have been probably 20 years after you'd left. Mm. Mm. Ruth came in the 90s. Um, and then a few of, the, of Miss Morrison's girls moved to Louisa Glen. Um, and we moved to, to her school. With Ruth, um, of course, I used to bring her with her dolly and her basket and she would do the three o'clock class. That's when little ones used to come at three o'clock and she'd do her class. And then Ruth, as time went on, Ruth did, did obviously a lot of ballet, but she did tap as well, which was Ruth's favourite to tap. Um, and Greek and modern was more introduced with Ruth's age group. And really with Dave, it was competitions and shows, wasn't yeah. it really? I used to be out on Saturday afternoon. Yes, yes. Um, and it ended up being a long afternoon. Mm. Because say you'd been here with uh, Miss Morrison and I'd probably go and sit with Miss Tess or talk to Miss Tess or go for a walk. Yes. David Adams came. He yes. was one of the um, mm. other girls' father. Um, but I can't remember many more coming. No. I mean, Ray used to come, Ray White, but Ray helped more on the shows. Well, he, he ran all the backstage. He was brilliant. Lovely man. And, of course, her, his daughter, Sarah, she was a good dancer. And she was in all the shows as well. Um, but there was, there, there was quite a few towards the latter end of Ruth dancing here, of the parents that started coming down and helping out a lot. Um, there were men that actually was in the show. Mm. But the shows That's was right. always well organised. I mean, Ray had got it perfect in the background. He organised the lighting, the stage, uh, props on the stage, and he did he did Scenery. everything. He was brilliant, and he mm. very professional he was. And he got his son, well, he's now his son-in-law helped as well, Mark and Nicola, his other daughter helped out. And we had I think a great. You call group. it a family affair yeah. towards the yes, yes. And was it a family affair through you two as well? When Definitely. It came to the yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Did you have the jobs yes. That you had to do? Well, mine would be looking after Ruth and her costumes. Oh, you helped out in the in the dressing room, didn't yes, you? Yes, that's right. And I used to go up and stand with Ray and do things with Ray or something like that. Yeah. It was a bit stressful for you. Yeah, yes. But it yeah. wasn't for me. I mean, I enjoyed it because I was with Ray and one or two others that I got to know. And there was... Um, Roy Wadd came down, didn't he? Mm. he was he, a chap called Roy Wadd and his wife... Jean. Jean. They, they were part from the church we went to, Mansfield Road Baptist. And I'd known Roy, he'd been our captain of Boys Brigade for some years. But they, they loved doing it. It was part of the year, wasn't mm. it, for them? They were big friends of Miss Morrison's. Yeah. Did either of you ever go to her house? No, I did. Ruth had finished her dancing here and she'd gone to Louise Glen, like a lot of the that people of her age went, and I think mm. that's why Ruth went. So I just thought it was unfair that we hadn't actually spoken to Miss Morrison and discussed it with her. And I phoned her up and I, she says, well, just pop round one lunchtime, because I just worked up the road from her and I went round and I, I was quite, not frightened, but I was a bit weary about going. Because nobody, nobody went to Miss Morrison's house, not many people anyway. And I went in and she invited me and Miss Tess was in the back room, in, I think she called it the parlour, and I was invited into the best room, which was the front room. And it was just, everything was so plush, everything. Carpet, there was rugs on the floor and the rugs would be probably nearly th an inch thick. And it was so, so clean and tidy. And I remember she, she said to me, did you see the statue at the top of the stairs when you came in? I said, I didn't. She said, well, have a look at it. So I had to go and look up the stairs and there's a red Indian, that pop red Indian that she'd bought from, it was either Brighton or 
Bournemouth or somewhere where she'd been on holiday and she'd seen it and decided to buy it and it thought it'd be nice on the first landing. It was awful. <laughs> it must have been about six foot, six foot high, if not bigger. And it was stood up there and this Indian's looking, red Indian's looking down at you. But the house was so different, you know, to normal people's houses around there. Because the area was going down a bit mm. where she lived and mm. couldn't understand that such lovely people as them two was living there. Um, but she just moved down. When, well, when she was little, she lived further up the road, on, off, just off Gladstone Street on the far side of that. And uh, their house was pulled down, and so they went, when her mum and dad was alive, and they pulled down, and then they went down onto Burford Road to live. Did you see any of the dolls that they'd the do No, no, they was on third floor. Yes. Was it third floor? Third floor, and they had a cleaner in every week to wipe the fa was it every week yes. to clean the faces and, and do the hair. hair. Um, but there used to be a lady that her daughter danced with Ruth as well, and Amy, and the mum was uh, Jenny Jenny Cave, and she was lovely. She was a hairdresser by trade, but she used to come down and help all the kids with the hairs and that. And she used to do Miss Morrison's hair every yeah, week. Yeah, and she, she helped. In the latter years, she helped Miss Morrison and, and sort of carried and fetched her around and did a lot of things for her. But I don't know whether Amy, uh, Jenny's still around, I'm not sure. But Amy is. Amy used, took over uh, Miss Morrison's dance school when Mo Miss Morrison finished and she used, used Mansfield Road Baptist Church as her dance school there. We had awards evenings there, presentation evenings, and we also had fantastic Christmas parties at the church. The connection for that was because of Jean and Roy Wadd, because they were big members of the church, big friends of Miss Morrison's, and so that's why we had the church. When um, Ruth stopped dancing, did you keep in contact with her? Did you bump into her? Well, we, we saw it shows, didn't we? And yes, things we, like always, that. we always supported the shows. And yes. we bumped into in town and that, yes. and she, she just recognised you straight away, mm. spoke. Mm. Really lovely. Mm. But, yes. um, but we yes. didn't come here very often, did we? No, no. No, no not after Ruth finished. But you see, no. we, we still see some of the people. We, I mean, Marvel, we bumped into her the other week, and uh, there's other people that we. We may, my daughter keeps in touch with. Mm. And of course, Lynn, we was at, was it the Carpentry Arts? We was at a show there, and there's a lady sat there in the audience, mm. and Lynn says, I'm sure I used to dance with her. And we went and spoke to her, and it was Julia, Julia Roberts, Roberts who off I mentioned QVC to you on Mo television. Earlier. Yes. And yes. She, they made such a fuss and yes. stood talking. But, and as, uh, as I said to you, Mo, she came for Miss Morrison's funeral as well, and she mm. sat with us then. Mm. Yes. It was at St. Peter's Church. Um, by Marks and Spencers, and um, it was well attended. The church was heaving with people. So many people from students, past students, students, friends. Obviously, she was at, got an MBE, so there was some dignitaries there. She was um, cremated at Bramcott, so only a few people went to Bramcott. And then we went to Hearts, the hotel in Nottingham, where we had. Um, a nice afternoon tea, and everybody was reminiscing about Miss Morrison, mm. yes. And there were lots of people outside, weren't there, ex-students. Uh, there was one girl, I can't remember her name now, but she, she'd got a baby and she stood outside. Mm. It was only a little mm. baby, so she didn't go into church. Mm. It, was, it was just, it. I think the, the city was quite, around that was just stood still mm. that day. She had a good send-off, very much so, yeah. She used to raised lots of money for the Blinds Institute mm. and I mean that, that she made a lot of good dancers and these people went on and they did it professionally didn't yes, they? Yes very much so, and Royal they, Ballet and, and things yes. But there's yes. one girl that danced with Ruth and uh, she's a good dancer and she ended up going on liners and dancing on liners mm. and things like that, mm. seafaring liners. Mm. And most peop of the people that came here respected Miss Morrison. Mm. Um, because she was so friendly and so, okay, she was very strict, but she knew, you, you could tell by just looking at it, she knew what she was talking about. Even in the later years, she still knew everything. Mm. She'd got great memory, hadn't oh, she? Oh, yes. Um, a memory, yes, her memory was amazing. I mean, you still yeah. keep in touch with one or two, what's her name, Heard. Yes, we were talking about Gillian Heard earlier. Yeah. 
And yeah, I do. One or two of them get postcards every year. Mm. Oh, Christmas cards. Christmas cards, yeah. Yes. The competitions were very competitive. Mm. Yes, very competitive. Um, yeah. And some of the judges. A lot of, some a lot of, of pressure. Judges, <laughs> yeah. Some of the judges had got their favourites. Yeah. And you could see it. Yes. It, it, it wasn't only us, but other people yeah. said, well, they should have won this, they should have won that. They, were, they weren't as good as Sansa. It ever so competitive. Yes, very, yeah. very. But we yes. went further, we went to Scunthorpe, didn't we? Oh, yes, we've been. Scunthorpe, yes, Leicester. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Where used to go? Tamworth. Now, mm. Tamworth was nice because it was in an old theatre, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I think we had just as much a good time. Yes, as when parents. Ruth was dancing. Yeah. As the dancers did. Yes, I mean, we, we did. met some lovely people. Yeah, we did. Yes. And, uh, and it was always nice to come home with a medal. But if you didn't, it was an experience. Mm. Just thinking about Miss Morrison, and I must just say this, in my day, there was only Miss Morrison's ballet school and the Toza school. And to be at Miss Morrison's school was special because she was a special lady. I mean, today there's lots of dance schools, but there'll never be another Miss Morrison's. Mm -hmm.